Hey, what's up everybody? It's uh, April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2021. We're getting a little bit of drizzle, just a little bit. It's like a little tiny little thunderstorm came through. Um, we didn't, I didn't see much on the radar, but it smells so good, you guys. Oh my God, it smells so good. Holy moly. I thought it was gonna be a little while until I was gonna get to see you guys, but you know what? Whenever we get any weather, this is what we do. It's 67 degrees, you guys. It's so nice up here. There's absolutely zero snow in town. Zippity doo dah, zippity a. My oh my, it's not a glorious day, but it's okay. Oh, look at that behind Snow Summit. That looks awesome. Anyway, thought we could use this as an update video as well, so you guys can see what is left in town. Um, I'm still trying to get a feel of the ski resorts when when they're supposed to close. I have a couple friends who are employees. And I keep on getting different answers from both of them. So, um, I, obviously I could call the resort. I did. Oh, you know what? I did try. And literally I was on hold for like 15 minutes and I couldn't wait any longer. But anyway. Oh man. Hang on. Seriously, it smells so good. The, that fresh ozone smell that you get when you get some rain, when it hasn't rained in a little bit. Oh, it's just so nice. Because I think the snow like holds the scent in. Once the, once the like rain hits the ground and just opens it up, it's just wow. Well, it's, it's the rain going through the atmosphere, collecting on all that stuff. But that's just on all of the ozone. It's just so nice. I don't know exactly how it works, but I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, this is great. This is thunderstorm weather. Look at that, man. Yeah, buddy. All right, hang on. I want a residency like that. Hang on. All right, sorry about that, you guys. You guys and gals. Yeah, this is, you know, kind of a bummer. Thank goodness, like my YouTube channel, like is something that I'm passionate about. Because if when this time of year comes, you know, I've got limited content, but like I'm making content for stuff that I'm passionate about, not trying to make stuff to make money. Difference, huge difference. Whether the money comes or not, I'm happy. That's, that's the winning scenario. But my whole point is, is that this time of year, it gets pretty kind of, it gets a little bit boring up here. So what I'm going to start doing is I'll have people working for me and then I'll be able to go off roading and do some recording and stuff because it's really hard for me to, to leave the area because I don't get any cell phone service. So that, that becomes difficult. And uh, yeah, business must go on. So anyway, yeah, we are in Big Bear Lake about to cross into Big Bear City. For those of you who don't realize, there are two different cities up here. Actually, and I think there's like four or five different post offices up here. We have the Fawnskin Post Office, we have the Sugarloaf Post Office, Big Bear City, Big Bear Lake, and gosh, like, I doubt there's a, a Lake Williams Post Office, but you never know. You guys, I was in not the best mood and then I hit record and I feel so good. This is crazy, man. I love you guys so much. Look at those clouds right there. They're like three-dimensional kind of in the way they, they look. I don't know, as if you drew them to make them look 3D. Smoked myself for Not gonna use that word. I've been trying to improve, even though I am. But I'm trying to to improve. Oh, what is that right there? Oh, I dropped my phone and got a scratch on the on the dang thing. So I've been riding my motorcycle a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I'm not getting any younger trying to enjoy this life sometimes I'm a little bit nuts on the bike I, I do get it um, I mean I I dress from the waist up very appropriately um, yes I wear pants and stuff like that and long underwear and stuff but I don't I don't have the proper pants for riding a bike if I crashed with with with, the, with these pants on that I wore earlier today uh, they would be ripped to shreds even though they're thick pants, they're thick, but 
yeah, you gotta be careful. And any of you guys or gals out there ride, especially any ga single gals. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got my stipulations. Uh, like 26 or younger. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just, uh, yeah, it, it gets boring up here, but I want to be happy and I don't want to have any type of a facade going. Um, like I just want to cut straight to the chase, not like play games, play games, play games. Like this is what I want. And if it's something feasible, then good. If not, then I'll just be living the same old damn life I've been living. And it's, it's survivable, I guess. Okay, here's the snow play. And are they playing or is it no play in the snow play? Let's see, are they? I don't see anybody sledding. But that doesn't mean, oh, you know what? They're probably just closing. That's it, they're just closing. And my car is filthy, I know, I know. I know, I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know. So, I got a friend of mine, and I'm not trying to brag, you guys. I'm just trying to bring up conversation and just, just trying to talk about positive things. And yeah, this might kind of sound like I'm bragging a little bit, but I'm, I'm truly not. Um, I've done it before, and I'll do it again, even if it doesn't work out. Uh, a friend of mine desperately needs a, a car, and since I've known him, he's always had a job. He always works. Um, he's he's responsible and he needs a car so I have another car and I told him that all he's got to do is just take care of the registration and he can have it how cool is that man the Kelly Blue Book value is like 1500 bucks on the low end so that's not bad that's a good car private party value you could probably get 3,000 4,000 bucks for it it's probably got like 170,000 miles. No, about 160,000 miles on it. It's a Saturn. It's an L200. It's a 2003 Saturn L200. Brand new, very expensive tires. Because I, uh, right before I got this car, which was a surprise, my mom said, if you can help me, Nick, with my payments for my car, I'll finance a car for you because I know you desperately need something to drive up there in the snow. So since my credit sucks, and even though I don't like to be obligated to that stuff, I said absolutely, and I take care of my mom's whole car payment. For uh, December will be three years. I can't, I can't believe it, man. That's insane. Um, since it's a lease, it's not as expensive as you guys would think, but it's still a lot of money. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what the hell my point was. Let me try to think back here. <laughs> um... Hmm. Oh yeah, giving my friend Greg a car. So he's just gonna pay for the registration and uh, he's gonna have a car to drive. And the, t oh that, okay, this is what it was, the tires. Um, I spent like, like honest to goodness, like $600 on these brand new tires and then like a couple days later, um, because my mom needed help to pay for her car, she offered me that she would use her good credit to help finance my car. So, um, I had just purchased those tires for the Saturn. So I was like, Oh gosh, that sucks. But I was happy to get a brand new car. I haven't had a brand new car in 20 years. So, um, it ended up working out But the, so he gets a, he gets a car and brand new tires. I mean, they're brand new tires and they're good ones. And hopefully he'll be safe and be able to spend a little more time with, with his daughter. And, uh, yeah. You know, it's a necessity to have transportation these days, even in a little town like this. I mean, if you want to get anything accomplished. But... So we're out of the rain now. We're heading into the Baldwin side of town. But this side of town, typically, once we start transitioning into the different uh, airflow coming in, or from the different direction and the monsoon moisture, the storms will come from this direction that we're, we're headed right now. They'll be coming towards us. So this side of town gets massive thunderstorms before we do at Big Bear Lake. It's really beautiful when, when we get the beautiful storms. And everything smells so great. It's just beautiful. But anyway. You know, I think we'll go up into Sugarloaf a little bit and then uh, 
I'll just do a, a short bit of the drive back. We'll take, you know what? You know what we'll do? So you guys can see without all the snow everywhere, we'll, we'll take the back roads all the way back to Moon Ridge, okay? Yeah, I know you guys liking that one. I love you guys. Seriously, love you guys. I'm getting my Harley picked up in two weeks. I'm getting like the, like, I, I, I've got like 8,500 miles on it, but I want to get like, I told the, the service advisor at Riverside Harley Davidson that I want like the maximum type of a service that I can get. Even if I need to wait to like 10,000 miles, just do it now. I told him even if there's like 30% left on my tires, please give me brand new ones in the very best, the safest, the best, for a very extremely fast Harley because I have one of the fastest Harley Davidsons out there on the street uh, because of all the upgrades that I've done to it. So I need it to be extra safe, extra good tires. So we're doing that. I'm, I'm getting a whole new braking system. Not a braking system, but like just the best aftermarket brakes possible because I keep on like, uh, my brakes wear down quick and I use my motor, my engine to slow down often. So that just shows you how fast this bike is. Um, or just how crappy of a driver I am, one of the two. Probably the latter. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I have a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to. These are things that I save money for because it, it gives me a quality of life. Like, uh, I don't need all the like DVDs or this or that. Um, I just wanna be able to like enjoy like my everyday, what I have to do, so I might as well just make it better. So yeah, we're up in Sugarloaf right now, passing the high school. Hang on guys. 